From Howie Mandel hitting the golden buzzer and jump-starting her career, to the star she's grown into right in front of our eyes. Here's an update on Grace Vanderwall's life after America's Got Talent. We've all watched, and then re-watched the video hundreds of times, of Grace singing her original I Don't Know My Name with a ukulele in hand and her adorable smile on the AGT high stage. She was only 12 when she auditioned for season 11 in 2016, of course. Everyone probably thought she was just another singer on the show, but then she mentioned that she was singing an original song and that most of her friends didn't even know that she could sing. Then, when the judges asked her if she thought she could win, she just said that miracles can happen. Believe me when I tell you people loved her from that very minute. Her voice was just an added plus. Okay, it was a lot more than a plus. It gave me chills. After a standing ovation from the people in the crowd, the judges gave her their ecstatic thoughts on her performance. And Howie pressed the golden buzzer. The world couldn't be any happier for Grace, as she advanced to the show's quarterfinals immediately. That's where she got to perform Beautiful Thing. The room was dead silent while she sang. And as soon as she finished, everybody started roaring her on. Simon Cowell had some critique, like always, but in the end he told her that her flaws made her perfect. Mel B called her cute as a button, and Howie told her she would be bigger than all the biggest stars. If only they knew how right they'd be. She decided to sing another original song, Light the Sky, for her semi-final performance. This time around, fans got to see her range at its best. On August 30th, 2016, Grace captured everyone's hearts again, and Mel B just had to stand up and clap for her. The world finally knew what Grace was truly capable of, and she advanced into the season finale. That's where she performed Clay, another original song, and the young idol stole the whole show. Grace won the finale, making her the second female winner and second child winner in the show's history. Her win was an iconic moment, not just in AGT, but the whole world. It changed the music industry for years to come, winning $1 million as a little teenager must have been super cool, but Grace's real win was the impact she'd make on the world. Let me rewind here. Back when she began singing and could only dream of being the star she is today, Grace grew up in Suffer in New York City. Her love for music began when she was only three years old, and her family couldn't get enough of her voice. She started making music when she was 11 years old. She played the saxophone in a school band and taught herself how to play the ukulele at home. Right before her audition for America's Got Talent, Grace wrote a few songs, which she performed at local open mic nights around Suffern. Luckily for her, her parents knew she was meant for greatness and pushed her forward till she became the champion of the show. Her win brought on a new wave of music that took over the industry. Grace always wrote heartfelt pop songs that were extremely catchy and fun to sing along to, but also warm, endearing, and raw. Grace truly made a difference, and she will always be remembered for it. The teen star stayed very busy ever since her big win. Although her performances on the American talent show were amazing, Grace has done plenty of stuff to continuously outdo herself. We usually see one-hit wonders from the show, people who peak during their auditions and in the competitions, but then fall off the radar after a couple of years. That's not been the case here. Grace kept growing as a musician and songwriter over the years. Some of her most hyped and loved performances include her cover of I'm Yours by Jason Mraz at the 2017 Special Olympics, Scars to Your Beautiful by Alessia Cara on her Vivo channel in 2017, and her 2017 VidCon performance of her single Moonlight. Then, in 2018, she sang a cover of In My Blood by Shawn Mendes at none other than the Grammy Museum. Grace even performed at the Brooklyn Arts Library, where she sang her version of Riptide by Vance Joy and an acoustic cover of I Can See You Clearly Now by Johnny Nash, as well as her opening for Florence and the Machine when she sang Best Friend by Rex Orange County in the year after that. Still, these were only a few of her best performances on stage, because she is just too good no matter what song she takes on. Regardless of the original genre of any song Grace covers, she always adds her own touch to it. Remember the heartfelt pop vibe I spoke about? 
Yeah, you'd be surprised to see how good she makes anything sound. She plays with the notes and keeps it real enough to be perfectly flawed. The personality she gives to each song has been the one thing the music industry has tried to recreate time and time again. Yet, it's her specialty, and it could only be done by Grace Vanderwall herself. Well, that was her impact on music, but how did her win impact her career? Her estimated $5 million net worth speaks for itself. I mean, it's not the biggest number we've seen on a musician, but it is still darn impressive for a girl who started out so young. The money might not reflect her success well, but her 700 million Spotify streams sure do. Yep, all the songs she's released or has featured in have been played over 700 million times collectively. To top that, Grace has got 1.2 million monthly listeners on the music platform. What did she do to get here, though? In the same year that she won America's Got Talent, the songwriter signed with Columbia Records. She kept herself in the limelight by quickly releasing her debut EP called Perfectly Imperfect. Her debut as a solo artist blew up and landed her at number 9 on the Billboard Top 200 chart. The fact that she worked with some of the industry's biggest names such as Demi Lovato, Katy Perry, and the Chainsmokers helped her career a lot too. What must have been a dream come true, though, was singing with Adele for her full-length debut. Just the beginning was in Canada's Top 20 and Number 22 in America. In the middle of all the work she's done, Grace also completely sold out four concerts at the Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. Her win even helped her get an opportunity to act for Disney when she starred in Disney Plus's Stargirl in 2020. But on to the real stuff, though. Grace has grown so beautifully as a superstar star who wears her heart on her sleeve. As of 2023, Grace Vanderwall is 19 and has been a professional singer and songwriter for about seven years. Her career's been a whirlwind, no doubt, but it's also changed and grown alongside her personality. Grace went from a sweet, timid girl to a more confident, daring individual. She did slow down around 2021 to focus on her health. She didn't share a lot, but spoke about the repercussions of growing up in the spotlight. The singer said that she dealt with a lot of anxiety and developed some destructive body image issues. While she did back down a little for a while, she continued singing and writing through her healing journey. She did resurface in New York with a few live performances, where she sang some of her unreleased music. She's taken on a more edgy approach, with her most recent live performance of her single Excuses at Purgatory. She was seen rocking a gorgeous gemstoned mesh top, showing off her tattoos and the most confident she's ever been. Fans on Reddit couldn't help but feel emotional, watching compilations of Grace going from being a shy 12-year-old on AGT to rocking it on stage as a 19-year-old in 2023. I get why, though. Grace literally grew up in front of us. Fans also commented on how scared they were back in 2016, that the young singer would lose the raspy voice that shot her to superstardom after she went through puberty. Well, nothing can wipe out innate talent, guys. So so there you go, from the star she's become since her win on America's Got Talent, to Howie Mandel pressing the golden buzzer for her audition. That was an update on Grace Vanderwall's life after America's Got Talent.